I guess to some extent what we're saying is that there's going to be a greater need for people with the kinds of skills that can build these sorts of systems that we see behind us. Well, if someone was interested in getting into robotics and designing such a system, mm -hmm. how would they go about doing it? What sort of schooling should they take? Well, I think uh, the, the main emphasis there, I think, would be um, a good interest and a good background in mathematics, uh, physics, and computing, electrical engineering, um, computer science. These are the areas that you would gradually move into, certainly from the point of view of developing the technology. Um, if you're interested in applying the technology, then uh, your interest would, would be probably more directed towards, um, uh, well, it would still begin with a strong interest and background in mathematics and physics. I think that's very important. Um, but your interest might go off towards the application side, which would lead perhaps more towards business interests, uh, um, that kind of thing.